Howdy, Freak Out. It's Miss Kosh. I wanted to talk a little bit about what happens when you have an intersection at the pole, um, but it isn't zero zero. Or you, well, let me let me let me talk you through that a little bit better. Um, so in this particular situation, I've got these two polar graphs, and they're intersecting here at points A, B, and then the pole here at C. Um, so what we can do is we can take these two and set them equal. So I came along and said, okay, well, 1 plus sine, uh, 2 sine theta is equal to 4 sine theta. I solve, I come down to sine is equal to 1 half. That gives me these two values of um, theta is equal to pi over 6 and 5 pi over 6. When I plug both of those back in to either equation, so I can plug in um, pi over 6 here because sine of pi over 6 is 1 half. A half of 2 is 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. I can plug it in here. Um, sine of pi over 6 is 1 half. A half of 4 is 2. We're good to go in either one. We get the exact same, um, both r and theta, for those two equations. Same thing happens with um, 5 pi over 6. But what we notice is that there was a, a third place where they intersect down here, that point C at the pole. So what I was trying to do was, um, it, well, you can say, well, the, at the pole, the, the R value is zero. And if I set the R value equal to zero on both of those equations, what I find is I it happens with different theta values. Okay, so these, it's kind of a, it's an intersection, but it's not the same. It's, it's just a little bit different in polar. Okay, so I was asking the BC calculus teacher, and he said, well, we just kind of ignore that. So we might say it intersects at the pole. Um, yes, it does intersect, but they wouldn't, but because notice here that, that one of them, it's the radius is zero only when, um, when theta is 7 pi over 6 or 11 pi over 6, whereas over here, it's theta is, or r is zero when theta is zero or pi or 2 pi, etc., Okay, so um, it's the same point on the on the graph, but they're not. You can't plug the same theta value into your equation, so it's kind of weird. Um, there was another example that I wanted to look at with um, polar intersection number two. It's a similar idea, so we can we can take those two equations and graph the two of them, or set them equal. Sorry, here's where they're graphed. Um, and notice on this one, this one I wanted to point out that we still need to remember our trig identities. Okay, so we had cosine of 2 theta, um, which can be equal to one of these three options. I'm assuming that you remember everything we've, we've learned this year. Go back and watch the old videos. So once I can substitute that out with one of the, and I picked the sine version because I had sine here, so I just wanted everything in terms of sine. Um, I solve, I get down to the fact that I have these three different values between 0 and 2 pi, and then um, and I could find their corresponding radius that matches each of those. And everything is fine for these three. Like everything, you can plug in that particular theta into both equations and get the same r and life is good. Notice, um, however, that, that when I set r equal to 0, then I have, well, we know that cosine is equal to zero when is cosine equal to zero at pi over two. So we have two theta is equal to pi over two. So in this particular problem, it would theta would have to equal pi over four. And, and there are other options, obviously, um, but like as in three pi over two. So then also three pi over four would work and whatever. Okay, so I'm um, point being that then when I set this one, zero equals four sine theta, them, we know that sine of theta is equal to zero, well, at pi k, so at zero, at pi, at two pi. Um, there are more answers on both of these, but the point that I'm trying to make is that the theta values are different even, even when r equals zero. So we're, um, we're going to acknowledge that, but then just kind of move on. So um, on the quiz, I might have you, I might give you a graph like this and, tell, and say find the r and theta value of, um, of a, b, and c, where, and it kind of ignore d, or I might make sure that, I mean, there are cases where, um, oh, okay, hang on, let's see. If I had, um, if I had changed this here, uh, um, function.
linked it in. Let's make that sign. Um, so something like this, if I had if I had written it this way, now when I plug in theta equals zero, um, two times zero is still zero. So both of these have the, they would have, when theta equals zero, r equals zero for both of those. So I might ask you to tell me that, I would ask you to tell me that it's zero, zero, um, only if, oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh, goodness. I need to learn how to use my iPad better. Okay. I would have, I would ask you to tell me it's zero, zero, only when I can plug the theta zero into both of those and get an r value of zero. Okay. I hope that makes sense. Let me know if you have questions. Go practice. Um, this does show up in your C topics when you take BC calculus. So enjoy.